Welcome back to TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to master the CA dropshipping inside your Shopify store. To do this process, to get started, you'll need both Shopify store and the CA dropshipping account. If you don't have either, you can easily create them on their respective websites. Once you have both, the first step is to connect the CA dropshipping to the Shopify store. I'm going to sign into my Shopify store and focus into my average Studio panel. Then focus into the left side and go for apps. Here, focus for CJ dropshipping. If you don't see the CJ dropshipping, then just type, for example, CJ and search CJ in Shopify App Store. The Shopify App Store is a place where you can find out lots of applications that can be helping you to the process more effortlessly. In this case, here is the CJ dropshipping. Just select it and hit into install. Once you have hit it into install, it's going to be asking you to sign in. So once you have signed in into see dropshipping inside the Shopify, the process of linking your account from see dropshipping inside the Shopify should be done automatically. And there we go. We are now inside CJ dropshipping, but using the Shopify. So you'll be redirected to the Shopify dashboard. So the stores are connected. Now let's explore how to find a list of products from CA dropshipping into the Shopify store. Just in case that you don't see that this one is now being linked, you want to make sure here that we are into the left section and focused for uh, down here, authorizations and Shopify. Inside Shopify, I'm going to click on it and I want to make sure that we have the option that says authorized. In my case, here it is the Gasly store already been added. On this is the actual code we're going to be using to make sure this one is the actual site that we currently have. In my case, it says quick start D537. If I go back into Shopify into the upper side, here is the quick start D537, which means it's exactly the same Shopify element. To delete one uh, store, I just hit into delete, confirm, and we're good to go. So delete once again. Confirm, and we're good to go. Now, if you don't see your store here, just type the word at store authorized. This will send you back into the Shopify app store for you to open the CJ dropshipping application once more. And once you have done this process, since you already have your account signed in, this will be doing the actual process once again, and your store is gonna be linked right away. Now, let's focus here that into our C drop shipping and let's start to look out for products research. Now, as you can see, we have trending products, new products, video products, print on demand, and so much more. We can look out for whatever product you wanted to. On the product page, you'll find information such as the product description, you have the images, you have the variations. So if you want to list this product into the Shopify store, you want to just select the product which you like to add, and I hit into list. When I hit into list, it should be popping up a new section where I can just edit my product page, where you can customize the product information at the Shopify store. You can edit the product later, but you can do a lot of stuff automatically. Make sure that when you choose a store selection, it's exactly the same code as you have into the Shopify. Then here's, for example, the title. I can delete all of this info and into collections, I can just add a new collection if I wanted to. For example, I'm going to type here holder and confirm this. Now I can choose my new collection. The vendor should be myself. And here are the variant pricing. So as you can see, we have three different colors. And this is the actual shipping fee and the drop shipping price. Now in my case, my price is in MXN. So that means that if I change dollars to MXN, should be, this is the actual cost, 200. So I'm gonna be trying to change the price to 155. So here, down here is the revenue they're gonna be um, receiving when I check out the, the process of selling this product. So that means that when I make one sale, I'm gonna be earning this amount. So. If you're okay with it, just go for it listed now. This is going to be taking just a few minutes to list your product directly into your store. To make sure this actually works, let's go back into Shopify. 
click into the element that says product. And into the upper side, you should see the latest product added, which in this case, here it is. So if I go for preview into my online store, it's going to be showing me the product inside my store. So as you can see, automatically it has been now been added to the different color variants, the actual price, the quantity, and the description of the product. So what I just need to do is just to maybe organize the image and we are going to be okay with it. That would be actually it. So I can go back into my store. I can go into online store. Once again, check out my theme, customize and choose into the upper side product default product. And into my default product, I'm going to be changing, for example, the image scheme which in this case is the product information. You don't have to worry about holding any inventory, packing or shipping because when somebody makes a sale, everything should be imported here into CA Drop Shipping. Just go directly into the section that says store orders and your order should be appearing in here. All the information about your customer should be appearing in here and you just need to hit into add to the orders picking and start with making the fulfillment of the store. You can track the status of each order view, the shipping information, and communicate with the Shield Drop Shipping if you have any questions of the issue. And that's it. You have learned how to use the Shield Drop Shipping with Shopify to easily source products, fulfill orders, and run a successful drop shipping business. So CE Drop Shipping is a Shopify powerful combination for anyone looking to start a scale a drop shipping business by leveraging vast product catalog and automate fulfillment. If you find it sure helpful guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Express. And well, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next video. See you soon.